Luckily for us, the Ashen Winds is one of the fastest world events in the game to complete. I previously held the world record for this event at 58 seconds, but have now been beaten by a crew finishing in only 46 seconds. But don't worry, I'll get that record back. I'll get that record back. One of the biggest factors of all world events in Sea of Thieves is speed. Yes, you as a player or crew can take as long as you want completing a world event, but when it comes to other pirates in the seas either wanting the same event or loot from it, speed should always be at the top of your list. An Ashen Wind has a total of seven spawn locations. Kraken's Fall, Shipwreck Bay, Marauder's Arch, Cannon Cove, Wanderer's Refuge, Mermaid's Hideaway, and Devil's Ridge. With knowing where the world event spawns and seeing one in your server, this will make it a little easier knowing just how far you have to travel. When parking your ship at these islands, there are some optimal spots to kill the Ashen Lord, collect all of the loot, and harpoon it back to your boat. Starting off at Marauder's Arch, you're going to want to park the boat on the east side, right here. Perfect side of the beach for the cannons and the harpoon. On Kraken's Fall, you want to park the ship on the north side beside the beach, between the rocks and Kraken ribcage. Drag the Ashen Lord from a spawn point all the way down to the beach. When sailing to Devil's Ridge, park on the west side of the island. This location gives you cannon shots on the island with direct line of sight to the Ashen Lord spawn. On Mermaid's Hideaway, drop anchor on the northwest side of the island. The Ashen Lord spawns just on the left side of these rocks, so you'll be able to walk it out to the beach for cannon access. Along with Devil's Ridge, Wonders Refuge has one of the easiest spawn locations to shoot at. Parking on the upper northwest side of the island, you'll be able to drop anchor and have direct shots on the Ashen Lord spawn point. Cannon Cove has a small bay with a dock beside it. Lining the side of the ship up with the beach not only gives you a great harpoon spot, but you'll be able to cannon the Ashen Lord in no time. And lastly, Shipwreck Bay. Parking on the northeast side of the island will again give you a great cannon angle, only here you'll have to drag the Ashen Lord a little bit closer to the beach. Now that we know all spawn locations and park locations, let's talk about strategies. Of course, you can hop off the boat and start spamming the boss to death, but we're more interested in speed. There will be two main strategies for this world event. The first one is for solo players. A popular method with players is using tridents to kill the Ashen Lords. There are positives and negatives to this, with the positive being you only need a few tridents to defeat the boss. The negative is acquiring the tridents can be lengthy, with swimming down to a treasury. The point of you spending your time watching this video is for speed. If you've been in the server for a while and have gathered a few tridents from adventures, you'll of course have a few. You'll probably spend longer acquiring the tridents than actually completing the event itself. The main strategy I would use here is the cannon method. With the release of Season 9, there was a huge update to all world events in the game. That being, the events now scale up or down depending on crew size. This means that a solo Ashen Lord will have reduced health compared to that of, let's say, a Galleon crew completing it. One thing I've also noticed in regards to Ashen Ashen Lords is that they attack you less frequently with both versions of the boulder throw attack. For this method, simply hop onto the island, spawn the Ashen Lord, and walk it back to the beach where your boat is parked. Hop on the boat and start cannoning. Like I was saying about the frequency of attacks, in this clip I was soloing an Ashen Lord on Shipwreck Bay using only cannons. From start to finish, the Ashen Lord performed the boulder attack on my ship four times. Each attack gave the ship three holds along with fire, and this damage was consistent with every attack landed on me. Moving on to crew sizes of two, three, and four players, or Geo Sloop, Brig, and Galleon. This is basically the exact same strategy as Solo, only this time the attacks from the Ashen Lord will be more frequent, along with something called the Aggro. This is just when the Ashen Lord is fixated on one player in the crew and does nothing but try to kill him. Here, you have to pay close attention to what crewmate the aggro is actually on. While your crewmate is on the island taking the aggro, this is the perfect opportunity for the rest of the crew to fire cannonballs. Remember, as soon as the aggro switches to another player, just swap them out with whoever's on the beach. And if you have any doubt this method is actually the fastest, here is my crew and I breaking the Ashen Winds world record, defeating an Ashen Lord in only 40 seconds. Smoke on that comment section. Believe it or not, this is actually a world record, by the way. Ya boy, fast.
I've got a few final tips when it comes to the Ashen Lord. There are three waves to these bosses. If you are curious to see how far you are through a wave, keep an eye on the Ashen Lord's heart. The faster it beats, the closer it is to death. Green Curse Cannonballs work on the Ashen Lords as well, and it can even temporarily stop the boss's attack. So just take a look at your pockets to see if you've picked one up. After you've defeated the Ashen Lord, place all the loot in one pile just off the beach in the water. This makes it a little easier when harpooning. You know, because the best part of Season 9's update was low-key the harpoon. If you're going to throw an emissary flag up before you complete an Ashen Winds, put up a Reaper's flag. Collecting all of the loot and placing it on your ship will get you just over a Grade 3 Reaper's emissary. Then you can spend the next 19 hours running from players with a little amount of loot. Oh, and I almost forgot the most important part of this video. A pivotal piece of information that you can go and tell your neighbor's dog. Throwing buckets of water on Ashen Lords does absolutely fucking nothing.